What's going on everybody? It is TFG Aviation Vlogs here bringing you guys back a yet again another video today guys. So today I have a very special video. Today is my 250 subscriber special and this is going to be a Q&A um, that you guys did suggest questions to on my a video I posted five days ago. Um, I think it was five days ago. It was like Monday or Sunday, I can't remember. But um, I did get about 15 questions which I think is a nice number. I mean I obviously couldn't answer like 30 and I won a little bit more than like five or something but so I think that is nice to have 15 so thank you for all who commented I know I did not reply to your comments and I said that in the video in that video so I went and replied to him so I'll obviously be replying to him to, to them right now um but guys before I get started um please remember to hit, that, to hit that subscribe button for daily videos um I only or you usually there will be aviation or vlog videos um mostly aviation though because I mean my life is not interesting enough to do vlogs every day but I'll do some random videos too like that one FPS video that did like 30 views yeah that was not good. Anyway, yeah, but guys, um, yeah, so, um, I also, I was on my, um, YouTube an analysis, and, uh, what I saw was that 66% of my viewers are not subscribed to me, so if you guys are not subscribed to me, guys, please do go down and hit that subscribe button. I do have a goal made, and I'll tell you guys right after I'm finished with this, but, yeah, guys, that'll really help me, um, out, and, yeah, just come back for daily videos every day, because I provide content every day, because I'm gonna, I want to be a daily YouTuber. Also, guys, I'm um, sorry if there's bags under my eyes, or if I stutter, or if I just look really tired. Um, I'm kind of working off of three to four hours of sleep of sleep last night. And guys, I'm coming back tomorrow for an airport update of, I'm not going to say it yet, but you guys will see that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, come, and also guys, lighting, sorry, uh, it's afternoon, it's three, four, it's 4.30, so there's going to be bad lighting. But I try my best, I think it'll look okay. Um, and yeah, so guys, the goal. So... My goal is to get 300 subscribers by March 15th of 2017. So that gives us a little over uh, over a month to hit 300, and I think that we can do that because just like a month ago, I only had like around 205. So I think we can do it. I hope we can do it, guys. So please go down and hit that subscribe button. And after I get that, I will do a day in the life um, of me. And, oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, draw my life, not day in the life. I don't know why I was thinking about that. But yeah, guys, um, I think that's all for today, so let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so, um, I just took screenshots of all the comments that I got, and thank you for all who, um, commented. I'm not going to say, like, thank you after each and every one of you. I wish I could, but I, I'm just extremely tired, and I probably end up, like, messing up or something. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to say thank you all in advance, and um, thank you each and every one of you for commenting. And we're going to get started. So, with the first, um, the first question was asked by Mike10, and he asked, what is your favorite YouTuber? And as of now, my favorite YouTuber is... Either Tanner Bronger or Casey Neistat. I don't know why. I just like like the stuff they produce. The next question is asked by Aviation18, and he says, "What is your address?" Well, my address is one two three four White House Street, United States Earth one two three four five six seven eight nine. I'm just kidding. Um, Benny said, "JK, but seriously, what is the furthest place that you've been to?" I know this is sad, but it's either been Florida or Washington, and that's really sad because I know you've been like Australia, and I'm really jealous of you. Okay guys, so the next question was asked by Aviation2727, and he said congrats on 250, um, thank you so much. And what is your favorite plane, like a Boeing, or Airbus A330 or Boeing 787? Uh, probably Boeing 787, just because they're made in America, and I am an American. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I've only been on a few Airbus planes, but I'm not a big fan of them. Okay, so the next question is asked by EJ Aviation, and he said, he asked, what airport do you fly out of the most? Obviously, or for me, it'd be Omaha, obviously, because that's my home airport. Uh, and then he said, uh, how many states have you flown to? I'll be right back. Okay, so EJ, EJ Aviation, I have flown to 10 states. I just had to like go out and count them because I can't remember all of them. I had to ask my parents because I can't remember some of the younger ones um, or some of the earlier ones. I Next question is is by 99 Carrot, and he asks, how did you get interested in aviation? Well, it happened when I first started flying on planes, well, obviously, when I was old enough, probably 10, I'd say. I was about 10 when I started getting interested in aviation. Um, yeah, and it was because, uh, the well, it really wasn't the first time I've flown, but it was like, it had been a few years before that and that I've flown last, like I was, yeah, and then... I don't know, I must like matured or something from like the last time I flew. So I'm like, wow, this is really cool. How can a big 6,000 ton mon thing of metal can fly? And I'm like, yeah. So that's how it happened. Um, and then he has a, another question. Um, do you want a career in aviation? And uh, I'm not sure yet, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure yet, to be honest. Um, 
I like making videos. I mean, pretty. I like making videos a lot. So I'm not sure. Either it'll be a filmmaker or probably maybe a pilot or something. I'm not sure yet, but maybe. Depends on where life takes me. Okay, so um, next, <clears throat> excuse me, question was asked by Toronto Pearson Aviation. He says, "What grade are you in?" And I'm not gonna tell you guys my exact grade, but I'm just gonna give you guys a big picture. I am in high school, so yeah. And then he says, um, "What is your what is your favorite subject in school?" Um, history, probably. I like the four core, um, which for us is language, arts, science, social studies. No, science, history, language, arts, and math. Sorry, um, history. But then besides that, obviously PE. And then he asked, um, also, what is your favorite sport and team? All right. Um, and yeah. Okay. So my favorite sport is baseball. Obviously. I mean, I guess there's nothing back here at baseball, but other, but everything else in my room is always baseball. And my favorite team is the Tampa Bay Rays. Not Gonzaga, because I don't know. Maybe they play baseball. I don't know. I don't know where I got the sweatshirt also. Yeah, but my favorite team is the Tim Bay Rays, and that is a baseball team. And the next question is asked by Southwest1761, and he asks, um, what is your favorite Cessna plane? Like, like a Cessna 172. Um, actually, I would probably like um, the Cessna 208. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I just like it for some reason. And then, um, and what is your favorite low-cost airline? I'm probably Southwest, I guess. I don't really know, like, if, like, I don't know like what airlines are are like officially considered uh, low cost. I know Southwest is for one. I'm trying to think. I feel like there's one. Oh, Allegiant I think is two, and Spirit. So probably Southwest out of those three. And was that all I asked? Yes. Thank you for the. So the next question was asked by Citrus Aviation, and he asked, um, "The Q and A you are doing is, is on my birthday. Well, happy birthday." Citrus Aviation. My birthday is actually in a couple weeks, so happy birthday. Um, and what is your favorite airport to fly out of? Personally, me, probably Salt Lake City, because I don't know why, but the, well, the, I mean, the mountains, I guess, and the Great Salt Lake, it's just a beautiful place to fly out of. Okay, guys, so the next um, question was asked by Her Heroes Aviation, excuse me, and here are, he, he has uh, four questions, I believe. Three questions. Sorry, I can't count today. Um, and the first one is, what is your favorite airline? Um, Delta Airlines is my favorite airline right now just because like their fleet I think they have a good variety of planes their destinations are good and then their um, service is good also So Delta is my favorite airline and then what is your favorite sport and team? Um, I answered that the last one it is uh, baseball and, and Tampa Bay Rays so there you go and then which one Airbus or Boeing Boeing American made not that I have anything against um, Airbus or anything but I just like Boeing better Okay, guys, and then the next question is is um, asked by Alex Cook, and he said, "Will you go spotting at MSP?" If you guys do not know, I'm going up to Minneapolis two weeks from no, actually a week from this Thursday. Wow. And actually, um, dude, I won't. I'm um, sorry. Actually, we aren't even staying in Minas in Minneapolis. I just say that because it's like the next biggest town. We're actually staying outside of Minneapolis, t more towards the uh, Wisconsin border around there. And we just drive through Minneapolis. So unfortunately, dude, I will not. And yeah, sorry, man. I really wish I could. Um, we, well, I guess on the way there, we do drive past Minneapolis um, MSP. But fortunately, it'll probably be around 10, 10 11 that night when I get when I drive through. So sorry, dude. And then also, if so, we should meet up in Go Spotting. Dude, I would love that personally. But yeah, we're not exactly staying in Minneapolis, I should have made that clear. I don't know why. Well, I say Minneapolis because it, it's the closest town. But yeah, that'd be cool if we could. All right, guys. So the next few questions, actually, oh gosh, just the there we go. Um, is asked by Jim and I Jets J Triple X, and he asked many, many, or six questions. So thank you all for all the questions, man. No need to apologize. Uh, I think I'm still in the um, frame. But anyway, okay. So let's get started. So. Number um, number one, if you made an aircraft that changed the aviation world in every airline out there, orders to your aircraft, what would it be called? Um, I don't know exactly, really. I haven't really put much thought into it. Uh, I, think. I don't know, dude. I'd have to think on that personally, but um, that's that's a good question, actually. Um, how would you? How would you feel? Okay, and then he asked, how would you feel if I did make my own aircraft? Um, would you feel honored? Yeah, I would, because I mean, having an aircraft like that, or having a company like that, I would feel honored. And do you think it would be worth it for you? I mean, I'm not that in interested in like machines and uh, that stuff, but I mean, if you were, or if I was, then yeah, I, I think it would be 
worth it for me. Okay, so the second question is, how's the weather down there where you live? If you if you don't know, then what was the worst natural experience you get with natural forces? Hashtag the weather. Um, actually, we get a lot of severe weather um, here during the summer due to our very hot and humid um, summers. Um, I actually, I've had a tornado touch down about 10 miles from my house before. And then, how's the weather down there where you live? I mean, it's it's not horrible, really. I mean, basically, uh, here we have um, cool um, winters. We haven't had much snow. This winter has actually been not terribly bad. Like right now, it's February 2nd, and it's sitting in the mid-40s to upper 40s. So, I mean, it's not bad here. It's not great either, but it's not horrible. Um, okay, so next question. Number three, if you own a plane, what would it be? Um, probably a... I don't know, if, it could be like, like if I was like a millionaire, then it would be a year 60, but if I was just doing it on like my own budget, probably the um, Sirius SR-22, because those are pretty, I like those ones, they're cool. Okay, number question number four. I like every kind of music out there, jazz, pop, and R&B, um, rock, electronic, you can name it, but what is your favorite kind of music? Um, Mine's pop, uh, mostly. I mean, I do like... Um, Jazz sometimes too, but mostly pop like right now. Okay, and then and then he asked, "How was your day today?" Actually, I mean it was okay. Um, I did wake up extremely, or I did go to bed at like two this no not two like one this morning um, because I was up editing and posting and watching YouTube and stuff. Um, but then other than that, it was just a lazy day. So that's a pretty good day. Okay, number six. Um, how many planes did you see during your day today? If you didn't see any, then how about last week? If you still none, then what was the last time you saw it? It's obviously, it's obviously you see plenty. I think there's like a riddle or something. Um, I see planes every day because I have an airport in my basement. That's my answer. Um, but like, I guess for real planes, I mean, I don't live very, very close to any airports and I don't like go to any airports on, on a daily or even a weekly basis. I wish I could, but I just am too busy too. So, um, uh, but I probably have seen two like actual ones in like the sky like I just like oh look there's a plane yeah okay and last and then he said anyway sorry I wrote a lot of a lot I hope I'm not your biggest scammer see <laughs> so, ya yeah. okay that's okay dude um I enjoy all your questions okay guys so the next question is asked by Ian Sathers I believe sorry if I'm pronouncing your, your name wrong but he asked do you have an, an Instagram page if so what is the name actually I do it is just my old YouTube Jim and I just 1272 um, follow that link is always in the description and is always at the end of every video so if you forget Okay guys, so the next question is asked by Hello Cobra, and he asks, um, what is your favorite thing to do? And actually, um, my favorite thing to do is just film videos. I mean, I don't know why, I just really enjoyed it. I mean, back when I started doing YouTube back in 2015, in October of 2015, I just did it just because I wanted to show you guys my aviation stuff and my airport and that stuff. But now it's really, um, I still love aviation, obviously, and I, but I love filming probably just as much. So that's why I've started with like the vlogs and the other random videos, because I mean, I just love filming itself. like. Not just filming aviation stuff, but filming everything in general I like now. And even, even I'm starting to get into, get to, um, kind of get into photography, because actually I was thinking about if it wasn't so windy today, I was going to go up and do a, um, capture the sunset, but unfortunately it's pretty windy and it'll probably be, it'll probably feel like it's about 35 degrees. Okay guys, so RSW Traveler asks, um, why did you choose the name that you have now and what does it stand for? That's actually a really good question. Um, that's an extremely good question. So, the reason why I chose it was actually my first name starts with a T, and unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry. Um, wait, what was I going to say? I don't know. Um, yeah, but my first name starts with a T, and I was going to do some other letters like my um, middle name and last name, but that just uh, didn't work because it didn't sound as cool as FG. I don't know why, but TFG, it, Aviation in vlogs, in vlogs, just has some ring to it, really. I mean, really, the first... Um, uh, and actually, guys, um, I, okay, here's time for a little bit of story time, and guys... Okay, so don't hate me for this, but on my other channel, um, you know me as Tanner, right? Well, unfortunately, me and Seth, that's his actual name, not Jake, um, used fake names. And not because we wanted to, like, fool you guys or anything, just because we wanted to have fake names for one time, but then we learned how hard it was to call, to, um, to call each other those names. So, guys, if you guys do not already know, my name is Trey, so nice to meet you. I'm Trey, so Trey T T F T. yeah. So, yeah, um, that, that is what it stands for. That is actually a really good question, R R S M R S though. All right, guys. Um, next question is, uh, don't please forgive me. I'm gonna do my best to try to pronounce your last name, Jacob. But this was requested by Jacob. 
I don't even want to pronounce that, but um, I, I'm afraid I'm going to fail too bad. But his name's Jacob, and then it starts with a K, so I'm just going to call you Jacob K. So, um, Jacob K asks, what is your favorite airline, Alliance, Star Alliance, because Delta's in it, I believe. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. No, they're in Sky Team. Sorry, Sky Team. Um, what is your favorite regional aircraft, ERJ-145, by far? I've never... Yeah. Um, I I mean, the E-170 is all right, too, but I really like the, U the way the ERJ-145 looks. I don't know why. And yeah, so thank you for the questions. See, this is why if I get like three hours of sleep, I totally fail on my videos. Thank you for the question, Jacob. Guys, so the next question was asked by Gemini Jets 140, and he asked if Gemini Jets could make three planes of your choice in 1 to 400, which ones would you choose? Um, you know, they've actually made pretty much every plane that's, well, maybe they haven't though. I haven't really been keeping up on the, on the whole Gemini Jets release and stuff, and I don't know why. Um, but. I guess probably for a re-release a re would be the Delta CRJ-900 because I really like that aircraft for some reason. Um, and then probably the American Eagle. Do they make the Dash 8 and 400 of American Eagle in, in, in the new library? I don't know. If I'm just going to say that because I'm not sure who else or <laughs> who else. What other one? Um, I'm trying to think what other one. Uh, probably, oh, Southwest, I forgot they have crap in the libraries. Um, probably the Southwest 737-500 in the new library. I don't know why, but I think they would look really weird. And I just want to see what it looks like. But it would be no use for an airport, but I think it would look pretty cool. Next question is asked by GeminiJets37, and he asks, What is the best roast you've ever done? Uh, I, mean, I, I don't want to be mean or anything, but probably that roasting my fans, or my, um, roasting my haters video. That video's actually even pretty good. Um, guys, I'm sorry for that dude, so I'm pretty sure that dude's going back and disliking every single video I've ever made. Because, like, now, like, all my videos have at least one, one dislike on them. But you know what? He's giving me views, so thank you. I'm um, proud of that one, actually. I didn't even try to, like, think of that, to be honest. I was just there, and I'm just like, hey, this sounds cool. Yeah. Okay, um, number two, what flight simulator do you have? Fortunately, I only use Emma or FS Steam. I know that's not a great flight simulator. Um, I don't play it as much as I used to. Back in, like, November and October, I would, like, grind hard on it like after supper i like sit here for like three hours just flying everywhere but i mean with a laptop it's a lot harder to do um than with like a desktop so i don't play it very much anymore um uh, number three in in the video can you show your flight simulator equipment if not say what you have this if not say what you have like yokes or quadrants um fortunately dude once again i have a laptop i know i'm a noob to this there you go, Avril Newman's 04, you can call me noob for that. Not about YouTube and not listening to someone because I was dumb. Yeah, I'm um, sorry dude, I do not use any of that stuff anyway. Um, do you have any airsoft or PMDG add-ons? Um, I don't think so. Sorry, I'm like not good with flight simulators, as, I mean, I'm just not very good with them because I don't use them that often. But they sound pretty cool, and if I did, I would get them, definitely. Alright dude, uh, why did I just call you dude, you're a camera. Alright guys, so, um, now time for the last question, and this is asked by Scott Damian, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, Scott, um, he asked, one for you, okay, um, he didn't really ask a question, but he, um, told me to watch his videos, I will watch those after I find, I'm done filming and editing this, and so, yeah, um, and then he also said, um, don't give up on aviation, don't worry, dude, I will not, um, uh, aviation is probably one of my favorite things, um, well, filming and aviation are my two top things right now. I wake up to film and to film these videos and to film aviation videos for you guys and vlogs. Um, but yeah, guys, and that's going to be it for this Q&A. Thank you all so much for 250 subscribers. Thank you so much, each and every one of you guys, for subscribing. I believe we're at 254 subscribers right now, so I believe that we can make 300 by March 15th. Um, but obviously, guys, in the end, it's all up to you guys. Um, 254. You guys probably can't even see that, but I am at 254, so thank you all so much for that. Also, guys, please do not unsubscribe because of the vlogs. I mean, if you guys don't want to see vlogs, please just not watch them. Don't unsubscribe, because I lost two subscribers today. I think I already said that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all once again. Why do I say this stuff twice every single time? I don't know. But uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, of course. Just tell your friends, guys. Try to give me to 300. That'd be great. I really want to do a draw in my life, and I really want to do it for, like, a subscriber special. So yeah guys, thank you all so much for watching. So fuck what you thought, I'm drinking in the sea, running from my enemies, well I let it be 23 and so much pain.